Oregon State, 35 to 32, late, late game. Points per scoring opportunity for Oregon State, 7 to 3.25. Now, they had less scoring opportunities, but they scored more points in it. Jake Hayner was fantastic in this game, had more yards per play, had more total yards by like 100. Uh, third down tries, they were better on third down. They did not attempt fourth downs. Uh, this was the prototypical Pac-12 after dark kind of game. This is the one that we ended up getting instead of Mississippi State and Arizona, right? Looking at this, Chance Nolan, 14 out of 27, 219 yards, one touchdown. Oregon State had four rushing touchdowns in this game, which was pretty awesome. Uh, Fresno State had two rushing touchdowns with uh, with Mims, 122 yards there. Uh, Double O'Neal jumps in. Oregon State might actually be pretty good this year, another underrated team. Yes, Jonathan Smith has done a fantastic job at Oregon State. Like, looking at what these guys have done, uh, they were awesome. I mean, look at the red zone efficiency here. Like, uh, you see it moving on the screen there. Four out of four for Oregon State to five out of six for Fresno. It, you capitalize when you get the opportunity. Bottom line, that's just the way it goes. So, I, I don't know. They, they're good on offense. They're really pretty good on defense. I know that they gave up almost 500 yards total offense to Fresno State, but, I mean, you got Jake Hayner on the other side. Like, he was 30 out of 46 for 360 yards and one touchdown. Like, this was awesome. And so, you know, if you're Oregon State, you're looking to get into Pac-12 play undefeated. Normally, in most years, especially early in the Jonathan Smith era, and, and certainly with the coaches before, at, at best, you can expect one and two, or one and one, when you face off against Boise State and Fresno State. At best, one and one. And instead, now you're going 0 and 2. Excuse me, 2 and 0. Right? In some years, you would have gone 0 and 2, but regardless. Uh, Oregon State, that's a team to watch out for in the Pac 12. They are a team to watch out for in the North. They look so much fun. They are, they are really, really good. Uh, looking at what they ended up doing, I, I mean, it was just missed field goal, touchdown, 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 to end this ball game. It was great. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was wonderful. Uh, let's see, Double O'Neill. Personally, I think everyone outside of the top ten in the SEC is underrated. Just my opinion. Uh, I don't, I don't know if that totally works out. But regardless, Oregon State and Fresno State both still really good football teams. Oregon State is underrated as far as the Pac-12, etc. goes. I think we can agree on that. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.